Welcome fellow problem solvers, Johan Oosthuizen is in the air. Thank you for joining, for sharing, liking and subscribing. So let's mix it up a little bit with fractions. So improper fractions versus mixed numbers. Who will win this contest? Stay tuned for more. Welcome fellow problem solvers. So yes, after our introduction, we're now looking at the difference between mixed numbers and improper fractions and how to move from mixed numbers to improper fractions and vice versa. So let's look at an example and this is best explained by using an example. So we have a mixed number and we call this example 1. Let's say 1 and a half. So the moment we have this and we would like to rewrite this in terms of an improper fraction, we need to represent this 1 as a fraction. But the key here is the denominator has to be the same as the fraction standing next to that number. In other words, this can be represented as 2 over 2 plus 1 over 2. And it will have the same value as this mixed number of one and a half. So then two plus one is three and the denominator stays the same as two. Okay, so you will notice now we have a mixed number right over there and then with the same value an improper fraction right over here on the right hand side. So this is the first example. Let's look at the second example. In this case, I would like to work from an improper fraction to a mixed number. So let's say, for instance, we have 11 over 6. Okay, so if this is the case, we would like to split this numerator into whatever the value is of the denominator plus another number. For example, this should be 6 plus 5 over 6. And this can be written as 6 over 6 plus 5 over 6. And we know that 6 over 6 is equal to 1. Therefore, this can be written as 1 and 5 over 6. And that's how we can write this improper fraction, this 11 over 6, as a 1 and 5 over 6. Okay, let's look at example 3. Again, from a mixed number to an improper fraction. Let's take something more difficult, like 3 and uh, 2 over 5. Okay, so first of all, this 3 has to be represented in terms of the denominator, which is 5. Okay, so we can then say, okay, 3 times 5. Now, this is part of the key right over here. We have to say, what is 3 times 5? So, 3 times 5 is 15. So then this is 15 over 5 plus 2 over 5. Remember, this 15 over 5 has to represent the same value as the 3, the number in front of with a mixed number. So now you can see we've got the same denominators, therefore we can add them together, the numerators. We can add the numerators together, which will then be 17 over 5. And this is then a representation in terms of an improper fraction of this mixed number, which is 3 and 2 over 5. Okay, and then last example, uh, let's um, again work from an improper fraction to a mixed number. And let's say something like 22 over 5. Okay, so how can we 
split this in terms of our denominator and you will see here it doesn't help that we just say 5 plus 17 right uh, we have to work until the numerator over here is smaller than 5 so you would rather say okay 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 we can say 4 times 5 which is 20 right so 4 times 5 is 20 so let's say 5 times 4 over 5 plus 2 over 5 let's have a look at what took place here 5 times 4 is 20 so we, it's clear that we have a 20 right over here plus 2 which is equal to 22 so we know that 5 times 4 which is 20 is the same as 4 because these two 5s would cancel out if you divide so this will be equal to 4 and 2 over 5 so this mixed number 4 and 2 over 5 has the same value as this improper fraction and the, so practice these four examples again on your own and uh, we want you to be confident in how to exchange mixed numbers and improper fractions without hesitation and yeah let's stay tuned for the next video